Hey guys, London here for another episode of Visionary Universe. Today it's going to be pretty short, so I don't feel like going through any intros or wise words or wisdom or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and get with the tutorial. So we're going to create this pretty cool uh, metal ball effect, liquid, whatever, I don't know what it's called. But it's kind of cool, nevertheless. Let's go ahead and create a new composition. Doesn't matter about the settings, to be honest. Let's go ahead and create a new solid, Control y Control y remember that, it's awesome. Alright, and then we'll call it, this is the, just the first uh, sphere. So we'll double click on the shape tool here. I'll, or you guys select this and then double click on the shape tool. This is going to create a sphere. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and scale this down, like whatever shape, like that. And we'll go ahead and duplicate this, Control D. And then we'll make it a different size just for some variation. So we're almost done, to be honest. That was probably the hardest part. No, I'm kidding. We got something else to do. Control Alternate Y. It'll be good to remember that one too because I use it all the time. Control to wide to create an adjustment layer. We're going, ahead, we're going to go ahead and apply our effects to the adjustment layer. So starting off we do a fast blur. So you can see here that when they're like close like this, once we add a fast blur, then it's going to kind of blend the merge the edges together. And that's kind of the base of this effect. So when you fast blur it out, it really blends, merges everything together. So there's more, more than one way to do this, and I'm going to show all the techniques because they can kind of go into other areas and other projects, stuff like that. So I'm going to show you both techniques. And that is, the first one's going to be a simple choker. So we know what simple choker does. It just like um, shrinks or expands the edge. All right, so this is alpha. Make sure there's, there's actually an alpha background. And then you can kind of simply, simply choke the subject. So there we go. We're just like choking it. So there's kind of some alpha here in the inside. And so we just add another symbol choker and we just choke that the opposite way. So we do a negative value instead of positive. So there's actually a good way to do this. What we can do is add an expression to this. Hold alternate and click the stopwatch. And then we're going to pick whip the other simple choker. And then we're going to do times negative one. So whatever this one does, this one does the opposite. So if this one chokes, this one expands. If this one expands, then this one chokes. So let's kind of watch the magic happen. So it's kind of feathered out and we kind of choke it in like this. So there we go. So that looks very nice. Let's go ahead and see what we've got here so far. They kind of merge together. That looks very nice. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the other way of doing this without doing the, ch the two choker effects. We can go ahead and apply curves here. And then and instead of doing RGB, let's go to the alpha. And then we just go ahead and turn this up and then bring this down. So like this. And, that, and that's the way to do it with one effect. And so we're in the alpha. And basically it's just saying, you know, hey, it is or it is not. There is no in between. Do or do not. There is no try. Except a little bit of in between. Now there's no in between right here. But anyway, we can leave a little bit of in between, so kind of disobey Yoda's words of advice there, but you know, he'll he'll be okay. <sighs> Always with you what cannot be done. Alright, so it's looking good there merging together. So that's you know that's the two ways of creating this effect. And the reason why this curve is awesome because it doesn't have to have alpha. So we're using the alpha channel because there is alpha. But suppose there's not alpha. Like suppose there's a solid background. So let's add a solid composite so there's no alpha. Alright. But if we go to the RBG settings, we can just choke it as though there is alpha there. So that's another way of doing it. So it doesn't have to have alpha channel. So that's why curves is awesome. If it's alpha, use the alpha. If it's if it's black and white, use the RBG. So, so that's pretty sweet. Alright, so lastly, I'm going to show you how I made that kind of the 3D look there. See, it looks kind of 3D there. So, um, basically what I did there was pretty, something pretty simple. Just add a CC glass. And you can kind of play around with the settings. Go to the surface and just, you know, turn the softness up quite a lot. Really just turn the softness up because you got to have it expanding all the way to the middle pretty much. So turn that softness up a lot. Then we can go ahead and start messing with the roughness and everything else down here in the shading category. Just go ahead and start messing with stuff here. So I think that looks pretty nice. Just, you know, has a variety of different options, but whatever just looks kind of 3D. So I think this looks like a, a nice morphing liquid object here. So I think that looks nice. So we can use like bacteria, I don't know, whatever. And uh, so that's pretty much what we're doing today. And I, I kind of thought of an idea. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pre-compose these. So hit pre-compose. And uh, maybe turn this into a, uh, maybe turn this into a displacement map so we can distort some kind of background. So there's our displacement map. Go ahead and turn it off. Add adjustment layer, control, turn Y, and then we'll do displacement map. All right, so let's make sure and check the map that we created, and then we'll just turn this up. And yeah, that looks pretty sweet. Maybe that looks kind of like water. All right, I'm not even sure if that could even pass as water, but I just want to try that out real quick to see if it would work. 
Anyway, the main thing was this little cool metal ball thing. I hope this just inspired maybe a few cool ideas in your head. So just one little short technique I wanted to show you guys. Alright, so that's it. If you guys could leave a like, that would be awesome. And consider subscribing. And also check out all the other videos on this channel. So it's been fun doing this little effect. And I'll see you in the next video.